time I come in here, y'all. Every time I come in here. Just stay away all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put right. a record for you. I don't give a damn, lady. I don't give a damn. I really don't care. I put a record. I'm gonna do the same. Yeah, you're gonna have ice in here today. Hey, I hope everybody. I hope everybody in here got their papers, bro. Got another one. Put him up full mass. All right. He wants to make sure that everybody knows that he is a bigot. And he's going to come back. And when he comes back with his, I don't know, rent-a-cop gang, they're going to be checking for papers. The Reddit poster, um, actual Mike uh, Quateo, allegedly recorded this incident and gave some background on this rent-a-cop male Karen. The poster wrote, I shot this video this morning at the McDonald's on South Park. They were a bit understaffed and working as fast as they could. This guy left the drive through part, walked back behind the counter into the kitchen and announced, quote, I'm getting ice, end quote. I started filming when I realized he wasn't just being inappropriate and getting his own frozen water. He uh, treated me or threatened me with violence for filming him. Someone with the right mix of time and outrage, please identify this guy and inform his employer of his behavior. I actually wish in retrospect that I'd call 911, but I was rushing to get to work and didn't think of it until I had already left. Let's put him up again. Um, sir, your conduct is behavior unbecoming of a rent a cop. <laughs> I'm sure they got standards. Anyway, um, Francesca, all right, most security guards. Very nice people say hello mm -hmm. to you. It's more of a social job. You know, they they want to make sure they have some kind of camaraderie with you. Uh, but this guy in in uniform at that. All right. It's not like he took off his stuff before he went inside of that McDonald's and acted in the way uh, that that this post, uh, the person that posted it says he allegedly acted. He came in there with his full gear on and went behind the counter, according to the poster. Uh, his employer should know about this. Agreed. Yes, agreed. I mean, this is like full entitlement behavior. He was mad that they were taking too long at the drive through and then went behind the counter to get his own stuff. I mean, like, there's a different way this could go down. Like, imagine him just like volunteering his time. You know what I mean? Like, what if he just helped them rather than did that sort of, you know, dick move, if I'm being honest? Um, yeah. And then you, you heard what he said on the way out, right, which uh, is the facet of every Karen and Kevin out there, which is, uh, I hope everyone here has their papers. Mm, right. Just a little xenophobia sprinkled on top of his aggro behavior, which, again, tells you they feel entitled. And this is what we constantly miss. Instead of being mad that McDonald's serially understaffs, right? Or doesn't offer people, you know, better hours. So maybe someone didn't go in that day because they were sick or they didn't have access to be able to just like an emergency came up. All of the ways that corporations make both consumers and workers' lives incredibly difficult. Like there's no empathy for that. It's just, uh, I hope you guys have your papers because what? Because you're going to, what are you going to call immigration on people? He went to go get ICE. Now he's going to call ICE. Like, I don't get it. And the other thing is like, who, then this is the moment we're in. Who do you think is going to do this job? Do you want to work at this job? You're probably making, I don't know, $35 an hour, 40 an hour more. You know, this is a $725 an hour if you're lucky, depending on the state, right? People were fighting for $15 an hour. So just like, again, the empathy is is absolutely gone and when when we should actually have way more solidarity with with fellow workers that's right and that's once again if you just consider humanity you don't end up in this situation 
at all. All right.